Hi, I'm Brooke Shields, and I am here with Harper's Bazaar UK, and I'm going to talk to you about what's in my beauty bag. First thing I have in my beauty bag, which I always have with me, no matter where I go, is my favorite cleansing balm. It's the Ginger Turmeric Cleansing Balm by True Botanicals. It's just delicious. It's magic in a pot. <laughs> I use it in the morning as well and at night, especially at night when I need to take my, my makeup off and I put it all over and it dissolves beautifully. It has no residue. I use a warm, a warm cloth and it just leaves my skin clean but not stripped. I just find moisture is the most important you know, thing that I do for my, for my beauty routine and, and to kill. Trish McAvoy does this brow wax. It's really good for your brows because it makes them stand up, but they're not greasy and it's also not waxy and it doesn't dry uh, crunchy, which a lot of brow gels get crunchy. This is very moisturizing. Well, now I'm at the stage with eyebrows where <laughs> they're graying, which is so pretty. So I've had to like, you know, color in the gaps, or I tried dyeing them once. It looked like Groucho Marx. It was not a good, not a good brow day. But now I just try to just keep them as conditioned as possible. But what's happened over the years now is the texture is changing. I don't pluck. Um, I never cut. I just try to really keep them conditioned. My mom, when when I was a little kid, she the. Ford modeling agency wanted to bleach my eyebrows because my hair was really blonde. And my mom said, absolutely not. You're not touching your eyebrows. And so from the time I was a very, very little girl, the idea for me was to never uh, not be natural. Don't I don't like the way a thin brow looks on me. My next item is Lumify eye drops. I always have red eyes, whether I've slept, not slept, drank, didn't drink, it doesn't matter, I always have red eyes, so this is good. I use my Pure Radiance Oil, also by True Botanicals, which has this unbelievable texture. It's an oil, but it's got a really beautiful smell. Oh, it just smells so good. And what I usually do is just put it all over my face, and then whatever I have left, I put in my hands, out of my cuticles. Sometimes I put a little bit at the end of my hair to give it a little moisture. Sometimes I put a little bit on my brows. I use it a lot. I love professional facial treatments. I will try anything. There's Dr. McCrean Alexiadis is this brilliant dermatologist in Manhattan and she does all sorts of things. She's done Fraxel, she's done peels, she's done like everything, and I get a lot of sun damage and that has revealed itself just from past exposure. She will remove all of it, and I, I will try anything that, that's new, <laughs> and I'll do it, and I'll do all of it. I have two tools. I have the harsh, 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 what you call it? Harsh, harsh, <laughs> gouache, harsh. I use that one. And then the the rolling the rolling one that I that I put there, um, that in the morning because I just I take them out of the freezer and I put um, I usually actually put the pure radiance oil on first and then I then I roll it just feels good I don't know if it does anything I just know it feels good <laughs> I always have lens wipes <laughs> in my bag because I wear glasses and I'm like that kid in school that has the smudgy like peanut butter finger and glasses. So I always need this to clean my glasses because my kids make fun of me. I've been in the beauty industry for more than 50 years and it decided what I was. It took me decades to actually discover what I thought I was beauty wise. Um, for the longest time, I wouldn't look at myself in the mirror because everybody looked at me and they all focused on my face and, and it was all, I was like a thing. It 
took a, quite a long time before I was able to just look at myself and say, this is what I like about myself. And it wasn't until I got pregnant, actually. And I got pregnant, I realized I was beautiful. So that, to me, it took a lot of life before I realized what beauty was. My role as a mom has definitely changed my relationship to beauty because I see the insecurity that my young girls experience. I've been in that business for so long that I didn't really realize how dangerous it can be and how toxic it can be. So I look at my girls and I preach to them all the time that their uniqueness is beautiful. You know, they have me as a mother and people, people are stupid. <laughs> and they, they go up to my girls and they'll say, oh, this one looks like you, that one doesn't. Why, does, why don't you look like your mother? Oh, your mother was so pretty. Like, oh, they, they see the stupidest shit to my children from the day they were born. And I constantly have to say to them, your beauty is yours and it's unique and it's special. And love that because everybody will try to take it away from you. This is Tartlet. It is mascara and or mascara, as I should say here. It's tubular mascara, and uh, it comes off with just water, but I I love tubular mascara because it, it coats each individual lash, makes them thicker and longer, and this is my travel size. I have a big one at home. Honestly, if I, if I had just one item of makeup, like when I was younger, it used to be a lip gloss or like a lip balm. Now it's, it's literally mascara. Like if I put mascara on, then I feel like I have a full face of, of makeup. Then I have a little bit of a beauty hack. So this is a <laughs> toothpick that you put on a tooth with. However, this is what I use to separate my lashes after I put mascara on. So I use that. I also use it to comb my eyebrows. It's a good little hack. My hair now is needs needs very different treatment. I don't like to wash it a lot. Um, I'm completely focused on scalp health. You know, my kids can use any shampoo in any hotel and whatever, you know. I need specific things now to sort of make sure that the, the hair maintains moisture. I can't do a good blowout, but now with the Dyson, I use my daughter's Dyson and it, the hair wrap, I now can do that. By myself. It's taken me a while <laughs> to learn, but now I can do it myself. Feathering was a big thing in the 80s. <laughs> and uh, that was not a good, not a good choice in, in any way. This is Grand Glow. I use Grand Lash MD as a um, serum for my eyelashes and it helps them grow. And they just came out with this highlighter that is also sort of like a plumper. So I put, I usually put a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit of my eyelids, and it sort of makes your eyes sort of bright, and I need plumping, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's a liquid highlighter, basically, and I always have that. I like a lipstick, and this is a Dior, one of their new lip colors, and it's very good with, with my lip. It sort of intensifies my natural lip color. I just recently started using beauty as a tool. I used to think it was vanity and it was a job. So I didn't, you know, I never wore makeup. I never, you know, I would take the makeup off immediately. I would go do a job and then I would just become me. I thought it was something. And then I realized sort of later on the power of beauty, that it's not vanity if used properly, that it can actually be this sort of feeling of self-expression and pride rather than vanity or flaunting. I now understand it as a gift and a form of self-expression. I see it in my daughters. My younger daughter loves makeup and it's a huge ritual for her and she does it really well. And it's important to her and it makes her feel, she's not wearing a mask, she feels revealed rather than covered up. So that's, it's definitely changed over time for me.
My favorite is Tree Botanicals Lip Balm. It's delicious. I take it with me wherever I go. I use it all the time. Okay. I have multi-purpose things. I like doing that. I like, I like putting stuff on my eyebrows. <laughs> I like putting it on my eyelashes. I like putting it in my cuticles. I fly a lot, so I love moisture. Never leave home without it. When do I feel most beautiful? After an entire team of professionals <laughs> have done their magic on me. <laughs> Actually, no. When I have just finished an exercise class, like a soul cycle class or a Pilates class, I don't know, there's something about my skin that just gets very sort of radiant and it's alive. And I don't like exercising, but I like after exercising. <laughs> my personal beauty philosophy is really take good care of yourself be happy, don't try to look like other people. And, and we're all so uniquely different and we're all so uniquely beautiful. Don't waste your life doing that. Just appreciate what you have and celebrate what you have. That's my philosophy. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and uh, sharing what's in my beauty bag. See you soon.